Hi there. So we have another decaf that I can film tonight. So this one is Honeybush Chocolate. So the last Honeybush that I had, the Honeybush, what was it? Honeybush Hazelnut. It was nice. Wasn't anything to write home about, but <laughs> it was nice. Oh, this one. Chocolatey, but there's a little bit of a weird scent. There's kind of a synthetic scent in there. I don't know what that is. It's a little strange. But let me put this in my teapot. So, what does this have in it? This is supposed to brew five minutes. Honeybush tea, cocoa nibs, natural chocolate flavor. So, that's it. That's all she wrote. So, I'm filming a lot today, so there's not a lot to chat about. I'm trying to think about how my week has been and what's coming up. So, I've been playing games with my son. And this week, I'm in a weird place with work because... I choose how many counseling clients, so many of you know, um, I am a therapist. Um, and hi, I'm Jess, if you're new here. <laughs> I'm a therapist online for a few different companies, and I decide when I take new clients. And I actually have a little bit of time this week where I could probably take at least one new client, but I have a couple of clients that may decide they want sessions and we have Thanksgiving coming up, not this week, but next week. And I'm taking the week after Christmas off. So I don't love to start with new clients, uh, right before I'm going to go on vacation. That always feels a little bit weird. So if I started with a new client this week, I would have to cram them in. I'm going to take Thanksgiving and the day after off. So I would have to get those clients in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I would feel like that was appropriate to get them in Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of that week if I've only seen them once. Uh, Cause I just don't know ahead of time if they need weekly sessions or bi-weekly. Um, and so I, uh, I think I won't take a client next week. I won't take a client the week of Thanksgiving, obviously. Maybe I'll take a new client the week after Thanksgiving, because then I'll have about three or four weeks before Christmas. So that will give me some time. Around the holidays, people are stressed out, but they don't, they're flaky about therapy. They're busy. It's not that they're flaky. It's that they're busy. There's a lot going on. And so it's hard to make therapy sessions. People cancel last minute. There's the flu going around. So people get sick and uh, no show, cancel last minute. So it often isn't a bad time to take some more clients because you are going to get some no shows. But it's also not a time a lot of people are looking to start therapy. So it's, it's a weird time. It's actually usually a time where I just like, it's an excuse to chill a little bit and it's, it's a bad time to take new clients. And so I just kind of use the month of December from pretty much Thanksgiving to December, just to kind of coast where I am with the number of clients that I have. I have enough clients, uh, and then I'll take some more after New Year's and a lot of people come in for therapy after New Year's. They decide they got to start working on certain things. So uh, I expect to be busy if I open up after New Year's and we'll see. We'll see how many clients I have at the end of that month. Uh, people drop off in December too. So I may have some clients who decide they're done, which is okay. So the next month or so may be a little bit more chill, which would be good. I need a chill month. Uh, leading September, October, we're crazy busy. My son was starting 
junior high. We were doing a little mini band tour. It was just a lot going on. So it's, it's nice to have a little bit of a break. All right. We're going to try a honey bush. I like honey bush. Honey bush chocolate. So we'll start it here with about five minutes. That's already a pretty color, although it's pretty light. It's kind of, kind of toasty. Not a lot of flavor. Not a lot of chocolate coming through. It's really that honey bush flavor, which I like honey bush, but uh, it's not enough on its own to kind of carry a, a tea for me. And the chocolate's not really cutting it. Mm. So as I'm finding with some of these Adagio teas, especially the dessert ones, the smell <clears throat> is much more appealing <laughs> than the taste. So often the smell in the bag is amazing. The smell in the cup may still be really good, although this one's pretty weak. It smells kind of nice. Um, the taste is meh. So that's okay. Uh, I feel less bad about finding teas that are meh for me. And again, they're meh for me. They may not be for you. They may be awesome for you. Uh, because I'm finding enough that I love. I really only need, you know, 10 or 20 teas that I absolutely love and that I want to keep stocked. Um, that's enough for me to have a pretty good variety and then I can try some new things as they come out. Uh, so my, my tea routine tends to be an English breakfast first thing. Now I'm adding a matcha after that. Then I usually have another black tea of some sort, sometimes something a little bit flavored. Uh, then I will start to switch to green teas often. So I like hojicha, I like genmaicha, I like um, lots of green teas. <laughs> There's some fancier green teas that actually were recently gifted to me that I've been trying that are delicious. Uh, and then after that, unless I'm very tired and want some more caffeine, I'll usually switch over to decaf. Um, Unless I'm, I'm often, often my second black tea is an oolong or a pour, and those you can re-steep. So if I've, if my second black tea has been an oolong or a pour, I will re-steep that pot two or three times. Um, my maple oolong, which is growing on me, steeps really well twice. After that, I don't get much. It smells amazing. It tastes like a nice oolong. I don't get a lot of maple in the taste but it smells amazing. It's kind of nice to have sitting next to me for the smell. And the oolong is nice. It just doesn't taste like maple to me, unless I put maple syrup in it, which I don't really want to do. So then I will have, and the second steep, my understanding is the second and third steeps are not going to have as much caffeine as the first steep. So even though it's a black tea, or actually oolong is fermented tea, and so is poor, uh, it's not high caffeine after that first steep. Like the second one may be medium caffeine and then probably the third one's like almost no caffeine. So I will do that, but, and then I will switch over to, to herbals or decaf for the rest of the evening. So this probably won't be on the list. Let me try. I actually, before one of the reasons I've been rambling, I want to try a little bit more with it steeped a little bit more because maybe five minutes just didn't cut it. That's m much closer to a burnt caramel. Okay, so there's there's the chocolate a lot more. It's still honey bush, but there's more chocolate. I think there's just kind of more of everything. It's still meh. Again, my guess is with some sweetener, this would be much tastier. And I may actually do that. It's it's pretty late in the day. It's almost five o'clock. Uh, and, and so I might switch to a little bit of sweeter tea. Uh, I don't mind the sweet as much in the evening. Uh, but I'm going to go make myself a beet salad for dinner. 
and finish drinking this tea and I may be back again tonight because I think the next tea in this group is a rooibos. So we've got two back-to-back -back decafs. So I could do two videos tonight late, uh, which is good since earlier in the day the sun was coming in through this window and it was making it not great for filming. So, all right, see you again probably soon. Hello there. So I actually already have this one steeping. This one is rooibos vanilla. Let's see if you can see it in here because I actually already put it in there forgetting to show it to you. So there it is. There's a little bit left in the bag that I will save for the day when the community is drinking this. Not super excited about it because I don't love rooibos. So, so I'm always ready to have my mind changed. I don't dislike rooibos. It's just not exciting to me. It doesn't have a robust enough flavor for me to kind of consider it tea. Um, so, sorry, there's a bug flying around in here. So I will drink it. It is fine. I'm okay with it. I prefer honeybush vanilla if I'm going to have it. Uh, I actually have some of that downstairs. I will review that when I drink it when I'm getting near the end of it, but I'm just not super excited about vanilla rooibos. I've had a honey rooibos, a caramel rooibos. They just fall flat for me. So it's nothing wrong with the blend. It's nothing. It's just me and rooibos are not the best friends. Um, they're not, it's not, what I seek out in an herbal tea. There's a lot cooler herbal options or tisanes that are out there. So let's pour a little bit of this. It's not quite five minutes yet. This is five minutes. Oh, but this is this is looking pretty already. So this is just rooibos and natural vanilla flavor. You are supposed to brew it at 212 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes. This is just about five minutes. It's got a very pretty color. So I would say this is probably a caramel. I will say, so this is fine. Tastes like rooibos with a little bit of vanilla. <laughs> Um, it's it's a perfectly fine tea. I don't mind it. I'm finding I like green rooibos better than red rooibos. Again, someone hands this to me. It's a cold night. I'm going to be perfectly happy with it. But in terms of like when I am trying to sip down some of my teas and not have a bazillion teas sitting up on my counter I'm trying to be a bit more discerning about what teas I buy so I love the community because I get to try a bunch of things and I do like to try new stuff but in terms of what I buy I'm only buying what I love mm. so I recently actually bought some strawberry black tea I think I might have gotten the decaf actually which I hope I did that would be exciting because um, I would like some new, more decaf since I'm trying to switch to decaf at the end of the day. And I think if, and that's based on a community tea that I tasted that was strawberry flavored. It was strawberry mixed with cream black and it was fabulous. And so I did buy some strawberry. So I'm trying to limit like what I buy to the stuff like I know I love. I'll get small portions of stuff I just want to try, but I'm trying not to buy larger portions of stuff that I don't already know that I like. The only exception is I did get a matcha recently because I've been buying um, these kind of small packets of matcha and they're usually pre-sweetened and they were a good introduction, but I think I'm liking them enough to move on to real matcha. So I did just uh, order a mint matcha, which I'm excited to try. And I ordered it, I believe from 
don't remember what company. I want to say Van Damme, but I don't think that's actually how it's pronounced. So when I get that, I will do a review of that. This, perfectly fine. Drink it all. It'll be lovely. But not excited by the red rooibos. I'll be excited if I really find I like the green rooibos a lot better. So I hope you're doing well. I will be back probably tomorrow morning to finish up this little round. And I am thinking for Christmas, even though I'm doing community, I'm not doing an advent calendar. I'm thinking I may put these videos out every day with just the one, just the, the short. Some of them are going to be five minutes long. Some of them will be 10 minutes long, depending on how rambly I am and put them out every day for the, um, the advent leading up to Christmas. Uh, if you have an opinion one way or the other about whether you would like that, let me know. And otherwise, cheers, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Good morning. I am excited about today's tea because it's very simple. It is cranberry. And I like cranberry teas from my experience. So see if I like this one. I'm gonna I'm actually I think I'm gonna dump this whole thing in here because I like cranberry teas and what I'll do is I'll maybe double steep it. So here's what it looks like and I really just want to get a good example of this. Hello, I am back. I had to stop recording because of course my heater kicked in. So it has been three minutes that this has been steeping. So I'm going to try some of it. It's a, it's a pretty light color. Well, I don't know, actually in my cup, it looks a lot lighter than it does on the video. So it, is kind of a toasty color. I like that. Oh, the cranberry is nice. So this has black tea, raspberry leaves, natural cranberry flavor, and cranberries. And it's high caffeine. Um, I'm going to pour more in here because I find with the fruit ones, my tendency to oversteep means I get much more of a tea flavor and I lose a lot of the fruit flavor. So, mmm. Nice start to the day. So, already, just with another few, like 30 seconds of that, I'm getting a bit more bitter uh, tea flavor. So, I think I will wrap up this video, go downstairs, pour this into a cup. The what's, this is a little bit more than even this cup, even though that's a pretty big cup. So I want to pour that out and I probably will do a second steep with it. So I hope you are all doing well and I hope you are enjoying this time heading up to Thanksgiving. If Thanksgiving is fun for you, it is for some people and not for others. We are going to do a Mystery Science Theater 3000 Marathon with my son for Thanksgiving, which will be very nostalgic for me because that's what we did in college every year. So uh, I'm dating myself a little bit, but uh, my son loves MST. So that will be our Thanksgiving, and I hope you are preparing for a nice one or at least a quiet one. I know with families, it's not always quiet. So, all right. Take care.